Hi, welcome to Catholic Nest. So I wanted to share um, a country study that we're doing today. So I um, subscribed to um, a couple of snack box companies that send you random boxes of snacks from different countries. So um, we've got one from Universal Yums. Now it turns out to not be so cost effective as we're a large family. So we've got one from them and then I've cancelled that and switched to Snack Crate for, for, for the following month. But we're going to use this one and it's um, about South Korea. So we're going to do a bit of a country study um, for on South Korea. So in the box, it sends you a little leaflet and it's got lots of information about it, which we'll go through. And then it tells you about each of the snacks in the box. You also get a yum scoreboard and you rate the snacks. Um, top to bottom. Also send you a map with some information on as well. So I'm going to show you what's in the box and then what um, resources we're going to use with it to make it a bit more educational. So I think there's five or six snacks in this box. So we've got some churros, some spicy chicken corn puffs, Choco banana pie, some kind of soft strawberry sweet, um, sweet and sour chewy grapes, sweet, and then um, crunchy pepperos. So the children know about the snack box and they're really excited. Um, so we're just going to have a few of the snacks while we do some of our educational bits this afternoon. And then we're going to make a Korean meal tonight. So I've printed off the flags from Twinkle um, for them each to colour in. And while they're colouring, I'm going to read some things from this book. So this is a lovely book. Stories, songs, crafts and games for kids. So there is a few in the series and I really recommend them. It really gives a nice overview of the country. So there's lots of bits in here that we can use. There's a couple of stories I'm going to read to them while they're colouring. There are some optional crafts. We're going to be watching some YouTube videos on Korean dance, uh, Taekwondo, some of the food and culture and like an overview video of the country. We're going to have a go at playing this balance and wrestling game. And um, there's a bits as well about the um, house and lifestyle here. So we're going to make this barbecue beef recipe called bulgogi. So um, because it has to marinate for a few hours, we've already got that in the fridge um, in the marinade ready for later. They're going to have a go at making kimbap, which is a bit like sushi. Um, and uh, I bought some bits from Tesco uh, to kind of pad out in the meal as well. So I've got some chopsticks as well we can use. So um, loads in this book. I've also got an atlas. I'm going to find it on the map. I've bookmarked it already. So we're going to find it on the map and then we're going to find it on our blow up globe just to put it in perspective and then I've got a couple of nice books here. Now I've said before I always like to accumulate books that have lots of different countries information in so that you can usually find whatever country you're studying. Um, and at least a couple of the books. So we're going to make, so this is a global art book and it's got one Korean craft in it which is jeweled crown and it's to do with Korea's history of metal artwork so um, we're going to do, I've got a load of craft stuff here, um, we're going to make some crowns to wear for the meal tonight and we're going to decorate with them with lots of bits each. So that'll be our craft to go with it. Then there's a few saints from Korea in this book. I don't know if we'll cover them all. 
there's a couple that we can have a look at that are Korean. So that's a really lovely book, loads of saints in it. And this is the Cultural Clothes book, which I've shown before. It's got a lovely double spread here of Korean uh, dress. So they're the books we're going to use with it. So we're going to start by watching um, some of the YouTube videos just to give them a kind of flavour for the country. And then we're going to uh, come and do the flags while I read them a bit from the books. Let me have a look at those. Then we're going to do some of the snacks. Um, and then they really like the food vlogger, Mark Weens. Um, they think he makes all the food look delicious. And every time they watch his vlog, um, they really beg me to ask, ask me to um, make something really interesting for dinner that they'd never normally eat. And then they just try loads of new stuff. Whereas if I served it up on a normal night, they probably wouldn't touch it. So we're going to watch Mark Weens in Korea. Um, just before we start making the dinner, just to get them in an adventurous mood. Book, snack box and the children have really enjoyed rating them um, and the chicken balls and the churros uh, came out top. Um, it did say in the box that although churros are traditionally Spanish and um, how popular they are in Korea. So um, that was good fun. So we're just prepping, now the children are just watching a bit of Mark Wien's um, getting themselves in the mood for some Korean food and I'm just prepping a couple of bits ready to make the kimbaps. So we're just about to start rolling the kimbaps. We've heated the seaweed, we've got our sliced veggies, egg and meat and our uh, sushi rice, so our sticky rice. So let's have a go. just going to have the banana uyu uh, which is from the universal yums leaflet uh, which is essentially a kind of banana smoothie so we've got it all in and we're just going to give that a whirl Here's our Korean feast and we've all got our crowns on, ready to eat. We've got our leaves, our spicy chicken, our kimchi, another sweet chilli sauce, the bulgari we made, the egg, some ginger salmon. We've got our beautiful kimchi and yeah, kimbap that came out really well. And then we've got some rice and some noodles. So thank you for watching. We're going to eat this now and please subscribe for more videos.